Welcome to The Quieted Mind. And thank you for joining me for this meditation experience. I'm J.R. Buckley. If you are listening to this channel and are new to meditation, you may be asking questions. What is meditation? Is it like praying? Why should I meditate? Are there benefits? What if I fall asleep or can't concentrate? This is not a comprehensive class on meditation. I hope it can at least help answer some basic questions as we embark on this journey together. As we move through life, many of us tend not to live in the present moment, but in the past or the future. We replay scenes from our life and make corrections. Regret draws us to the past. We think that if we had just done this differently, if I could go back in time and say the right words, things would have turned out better. Hope and fear drag us into the future. We worry about what might happen, or we think life will be better when we get that next job, or when we achieve this level or, or that desired status in life. For many of us, now is not where we want to be. Meditation is a way to quiet our mind and refocus our consciousness on the here and the now. It can remind us that this is where life unfolds. Everything happens in the present. It can give us clarity and direction on what we can do now to be a positive force in our own life and in the lives of others. Some say meditation is like a form of prayer. Some forms of prayer are meditative and various religions that incorporate prayer also practice meditation. While the two can complement each other, meditation can be practiced independently of prayer and outside of any faith or organized religion. Science has shown that a sustained meditation practice rewires our brain and makes us less susceptible to anger, fear, and regret, and more prone to understanding and compassion, more likely to move through life with ease and resilience. When you start meditating at the beginning, like many others before you, you may find it difficult to concentrate. You may find ambient noises, smells, or stray thoughts distracting. Or you may find the experience so relaxing that you fall asleep. This is when some people give up, thinking they have failed at meditation. Distractions and falling asleep during meditation are completely normal. When these things happen, simply observe and be aware of them. This is mindfulness. Observe without judgment. Find a focal point to come back to, such as your breathing or a mantra that will help you refocus. There's a reason meditation is called a practice. It may take a while to settle into your rhythm, and that's okay. And here's a confession. I end most of my days with a guided meditation, and I nearly always fall asleep, often within the first five minutes so don't sweat it. 
just relax and go where the experience takes you, like a twig on the shoulders of a mighty stream. This channel will focus mainly on guided meditations. I will guide you through the meditation experience and help you to quiet your mind and focus your consciousness. You may want to do these in the middle of the day or in the morning or before you fall asleep at night. Do whatever you find most conducive to a sustained practice. Eventually, you may find yourself meditating naturally in your daily life without the need for guidance. Feel free to contact me if you have questions about meditation or suggestions for things you would like to see on the channel. Thank you again for taking this journey with me. Namaste.